Okay, this is the one you've been waiting for. I think there's a few of you out there who have been waiting for me to do this review, so here goes. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sard. Yeah, so there's a few of you out there who are aware of the contents of the Beer Jerk uh, Christmas box that I received in the Secret Santa. Um, what would you call it? Secret Santa present disruption or whatever it was. I don't know if it's called a disruption, it just felt like it to me. Um, but I got the Beer Jerk um, box of 12 and in there was a special beer that a few people are waiting for me to review. Now, this is it here. I've had this since the 25th of December 2023. It is now the, it must be about the 4th of February. So it's been sitting in the fridge. It probably shouldn't be in the fridge. It should be cool, but not cold. This is a stout. That's right, it's a stout. For those of you who recognize the the label, you'll realize that this is a small gods. It's a small gods brew called the Tun. The Tun is a one ton imperial stout. It's a 10 percenter. So yeah, I this is a a review. I'm not I'm not I don't have I do have a little bit of trepidation in relation to this brew. It's a 10 percenter and it's a stout. So not only is it going to be full bodied. I assume it's going to be uh, full impact so no mouth guards with this one this is a 10 percenter um, and it's a stout there's no there's nothing on here at all apart from this picture of a gigantic I would assume block of concrete that weighs a ton and I think given that my eyes are very very bad there is a small tiny person underneath that is about to have that thing dropped on his head. That's what I'm worried about. Um, that this is going to be one of those stonkers. Uh, you know, especially when I've just read on here it says it's best consumed with a heavy heart. I don't know what even that means. Ah, to be fair, you're going to fucking die or something, don't you? Might as well be happy. All right. Cracking it open, there's not a lot of activity going on in there. I'll throw that in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it from this height here so that you can see the drop because there's definitely gonna be a drop, isn't there? Uh, okay, so it's not coming out as as viscous as I thought it was gonna be. So we're not trying to pour marmite out of this jar, out of this uh, this can. Um, there's some liveliness in the bottom of the of the glass. But that almost ice cream like, mocha like uh, head there is slowly dropping. Uh, and I've got less than, I might have over half a can in there at the moment. Over half a can. That is, that is dark. You can't see through that. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down like that. Oops, here we go. And we'll do the sniffy bits from the can because there's there's a bit in here. Okay, so I'm getting, I'm definitely getting um, cacao, like cocoa, cacao nibs. That's what, uh, that's what you generally throw in a in a beer like this. Um, yeah, definitely getting chocolatey, heavy roast malts, dark, dark malts. It doesn't smell unpleasant, it smells nice, it smells like it's going to have, a t I don't know if it's going to be sweet or bitter or what, I just don't know. Coffee, I'm getting a very strong coffee in there. So coffee, cocoa, hint of chocolate, and countdown paper bags. 
and maybe some and maybe a little single-use plastic bag in there as well but I'm you know I'm just I'm clutching at straws here but there we go let's see if we can top this uh, this sucker up and we have we've been able to top it up let's sample the sucker so like I said we're getting lots of coffee cocoa um, there's all those sort of s <laughs> smells that you kind of get from a dark beer very dark beer really dark beer dark beer here we go that is not bitter I would hazard to say it's it's sweet okay so there's a little bit of bitterness just, just coming in now but not, not nothing huge it is it's it's bitter sweet with a bit of bitter finish The 10% alcohol does not even factor into the flavour. Um, it is very, 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 very smooth. Um, it's a meal in a glass. It's very, very nice. Yes, very nice. Um, I see what they say when it says that you should drink it with a consumed with a heavy heart uh, this is heartwarming it is um, it, uh, this is a like it just, yes it should be a winter beer um, an imperial stout if you had this on a let's say a, a cold night and sort of mid July God it would just be the best I'm now having this in February in the afternoon when it is actually very, very hot and it is still the best. This is one of the best stouts I've ever tried. It is, that is, that is good. That is good. I, I was, my trepidation in trying this was um, ill thought out. Ill thought out, but like yeah I like this I like this would I buy it yes I would buy this um, if I was looking at having a stout which I generally aren't um, but if I was looking for a stout and I wanted a decent one I would try this one the ton from small gods it's a small mercy from small gods there you go there's another beer sarge beer review <laughs>